an asteroid is currently on a direct course for Earth. Initially, scientists believed it would pass by without incident, but they have since discovered significant miscalculations. Presently, it is heading straight for our planet. What unfolds next? Welcome to What If, where we explore the potential outcomes. Join us on this thrilling journey through the cosmos as we explore the possibilities and unravel the mysteries of a potential asteroid impact. While this scenario may seem like a fascinating hypothetical, the threat of an asteroid collision with Earth is a serious matter. Scientists initially feared that asteroid 99942, also known as Apophis, might collide with Earth by 2029. Discovered in 2004, Apophis has been under close observation, with early estimates suggesting a 2.7% chance of impact. However, updated calculations now indicate that Apophis will pass Earth at a distance of 30,000 kilometers, 18,641 miles, remarkably close compared to the Moon's distance of 380,000 kilometers, 23,6121 mi. Despite the reassurance of a near miss, the unpredictability of calculations prompts us to consider an alternate scenario. Suppose Apophis is, in fact, headed directly for Earth, arriving ahead of schedule this year. Let's examine the situation. Apophis boasts a diameter of 340 meters, 1,115 feet, taller than the Eiffel Tower. While imposing, it pales in comparison to the asteroid that led to the extinction of dinosaurs, the Chicxulub asteroid, estimated to be 10 to 15 kilometers, 6.2 to 9.3 miles, wide. In essence, Apophis is like Chicxulub's smaller sibling. Now, the crucial question arises, would humanity face extinction due to this impact? Before delving into that, let's explore potential strategies to avert disaster. Apophis size and velocity, 30 km per second or 18 miles per second, require careful consideration of defense measures. Several options are being explored, including the kinetic impactor, where a spacecraft collides with the asteroid to alter its trajectory. Another option is the gravity tractor, involving a large spacecraft using gravitational pull to change the asteroid's path. Laser ablation, utilizing special lasers to alter the asteroid's direction and impact, is also considered. Lastly, the final resort involves a nuclear option, nuking Apophis, though it carries potential downsides, such as fragmenting the asteroid and causing radioactive fallout. Fast forward to the critical moment when decisions must be made swiftly. Unfortunately, the procrastination in choosing a course of action results in Apophis approaching Earth imminently. Brace yourselves. As Apophis descends, its impact occurs in the Pacific Ocean, the most probable landing spot given Earth's predominantly watery surface. Though the impact might go unseen, its aftermath is catastrophic. The resulting tsunamis, fueled by the asteroid's energy, would travel worldwide, devastating regions along the Pacific coast, including North and South America, Japan, Australia, and the Philippines. With waves exceeding 30 meters 100 feet, the global catastrophe would surpass the 2004 Southeast Asian tsunami in scale. Now, consider the alternative scenario, Apophis making landfall. The impact crater, much more significant without the cushion of water, could reach a diameter of 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles, and a depth of over 1 kilometer, 0.6 miles. The shockwave, spreading for hundreds of kilometers, would destroy buildings and damage infrastructure. A significant amount of dust and debris thrown into the atmosphere might lead to an impact winter, causing crop failure and further casualties over weeks or months. Despite the immense human toll, there's a glimmer of hope. Unlike the Chicxulub asteroid that led to mass extinction, Apophis impact, while traumatic, would not wipe out humanity entirely. The event would be a profound tragedy with numerous casualties, but the survival of humanity would endure. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.